Awesome. So I'm just going to dive right in because, um, look, I mean, Friends with Holograms, we're a full service virtual and augmented reality agency. We specialize in soft skills training and we specialize from there in really sort of heavy emotional topics. We do a lot around racial bias. We do a lot around workplace inclusion. We do a lot around mental health. And one of our first big projects, and we've done several iterations of this, is with child welfare workers. So the numbers you are seeing on my screen are, I think, the numbers that you're going to care about the most, right? I can talk a lot about VR as the empathy machine. I can talk a lot about sort of the, the benefits of this stuff, and that's great. But I only got a few minutes, so I'm going to hit you where you really care, and that is the pocketbook, right? So we don't actually have any federal government experience at this point. I'd love for that to change, but we do have experience working with state and local governments. We built a piece in partnership with Accenture for child welfare workers, right? And this piece has been used by several states, but we've got two states that have reported back really amazing numbers. So the first one you can see is the Indiana Department of Child and Family Services. 31% decrease in caseworker turnover within six months, right? That's huge. That's huge not only for the families in crisis who rely on continuity of caseworkers to solve their problems, but that's also huge from a cost savings perspective. The state of Indiana was spending $75 million a year just addressing this employee turnover program problem. So again, you're talking millions in cost savings. And I can guarantee you the piece we built and the standing it up and getting it in front of people and headsets didn't cost nearly that much. So that's a lot of money. The second is the state of Georgia started using it and found that it was 75% less uh, expensive than in-person training, which they had been doing, and just as, if not more effective. So they're actually switching over to entirely using VR for training um, and not focusing on in-person trainers anymore. So those are the types of things I think a lot of people care about. Obviously, we like to do this work to create benefits for society and for the greater good, but we're really interested in creating work that also achieves, achieves goals, achieves outcomes, and saves people money. So I'll just kind of go through and pull up a few more of these slides, and I'm happy to send people this entire deck if they're interested afterwards. But I'll look at DDI, which is another case study that we've done. So DDI did a piece on workplace inclusion. So what we did was we really put people in a space where they are being excluded in a workplace environment. And we let people feel what that was like. And one of the first people we showed it to was a middle-aged white guy who's a manager's family's business, wonderful guy, really cared, but had never experienced this type of exclusion. He goes through the experience, he takes off the headset. He said, that wasn't a conversation, that was an emotional experience. And then he went back to his office and he made a ton of changes to make his office a more inclusive environment. That's one example that's anecdata, but that shows that this stuff really, really works, right? So I'll talk quickly about some of our other clients. We've worked with Walmart, Verizon, Target, Coca-Cola. We've worked with a mental health startup. We did a small project with the Air Force uh, a while ago um, that was just like a little consulting project, but we definitely have worked with a lot of large companies. Um, we've won some really interesting awards. I know that's something people care about. So we won Best VR AR at Mobile World Congress. That's the Glomo. We were a finalist for South by uh, in Innovation Award. We were a top HR product for HR executive. We've gotten a lot of interesting press. And the last thing I'll mention, because I know we're probably getting tight on time. So we are a female-founded, female-led company with a 50-50 male-female and 50-50 non-white team, right? So I know that many of you are interested in meeting certain diversity goals, and we will tick all of those boxes for you, my friends. So um, not only that, we really, truly believe in this stuff. We have competitors who don't. Um, they say they're building this type of content, and you look at their leadership team, and it is no women, no non-white people, just not diverse at all. And that is not us. We really, really practice what we preach. So I know that we are tight on time. I want to thank everyone for their initial interest in this. Um, I'm happy to send my deck to you. I'm happy to send any other information. You can go to our website, which is friendswithholograms.com. You can find me on social media, Courtney Harding. I'm pretty easy to find. Um, I'm happy to chat more with folks. And again, I really appreciate having this opportunity.